Good evening. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish... I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Your sire, tragic, my apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So... What I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. What a scene, man! Hooey! <laughs> then they just plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? What? <laughs> oh, man! And you're a goddamn Malkavian, too! Wow! You really are fucked! I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. 
You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide, and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You in or out? Don't worry, Stop kid. You'll adjust. I'd love to explain it all, Mother, but times are wasted. You want pleased. some help or what? I'm too pleased. All right. Uh, why don't we, uh, step out back here? You're nice and stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least, you know? Could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? Oh, man, we're popping a cherry here. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, you're going to love this. All right, check it out. Blood, it's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne. Blood, your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready, though, because, hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor S.O.B. can't find his car. <laughs> All right. You go down there, casual like. You creep up on him, then bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something, because it'll come so naturally you think you've done it a thousand times already. <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain them dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't kill them. Feeling it. I can see it in your eyes. You're a born again predator. Feeling that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. That's what it's all about, right there. All right, now. You got the blood. You're feeling all kick ass. Feeling better than your best day living. But wait, it gets better. All kindred. Kindred, that's a our word for vampire. All kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still, a chance at immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic? Words. A cross? Pfft, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water? Eh, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head? Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch a sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? Okay, now. <laughs> the fuck is 
is this? Down here. Stay away from the window. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. The Sabat. They're uh oh, Christ, I was going to spare you this shit till later. Uh, the Sabat. No. They're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, alright? The Sabat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. No time for political rundown. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing but fledgling like he wants to mess with. Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away. Sabat bastards. All right, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. Rustling robes of the Reaper. Ah, <laughs> uh, shortcut. Well, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those Sabat assholes. You're a big, bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and... That's what you could expect. It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck-ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. <laughs> they make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Mm, yeah, 
I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their own opinions. All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. And you know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. We gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check. Fucking waste of unlife, these Sabbat Vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey! Look at them potholes! Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but he'll do. Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. You're Remember what I said, though. Now. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity. An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by act. All right, now go feed. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast.
Not quite as good, huh? Yeah, you could do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding up. Well, give it a try. <laughs> you rat sucker! <laughs> hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, polite vampire society looks down on that kind of thing. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. The building across from us with the garage door? There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. All right, go. They're inside here. Seems that shovelhead outside just got separated from his pack. He's wounded. The Sabbat, you see, they don't have the most rigorous trait. Nah, he's probably just turned and beaten over the head. They like to do that, make sure. He is. Go get him. That sounds like you got another pack moving in, though. The savant are going all out. Go get the tire iron that shovel head dropped. He ain't gonna need it.
All right, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. Stop! You! Just stay back. Keep your distance. sure what's going on. Sounds like the Sabbat's getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them holed up. stirring up the hornet's nest till we know they're scored. Meet you there. Don't let them catch you.
<laughs> Fucking humans. Gangbangers protecting their turf. Ah, oh, man. I'm here thinking it's Sabat moving up in here. It's the fucking locals about to take one for the hood. Yeah, they probably seen too much. Here, take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots in him. Well, I'm gonna want it back, so don't go die and lose it. I don't use guns much. They're noisy, they're clumsy, practically useless against. Well, yeah, you know, some are more lethal than others, of course. Head up and clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about it. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone's... Until the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Barry Dodge spinning all... Well, to be honest, we came at a... Well, an interesting time, let's say. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. Oh, boy. Uh, I think they're looking for you. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's this bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck.
Hello, L.A. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Dead of Night. The only girl who will spend the night with you and leave first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up, and I'm a popular one. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, miny. Okay. Caller, you've got the first shot at dead tonight. So, who do I have to interest with that? I am. This is, uh, Vigo. Vigo? So, Vigo, why are you here so late? Um, I'm working late shift. How many boats do you own, Vigo? Two. Actually, three. Uh, one is uh, in the shop. I used to do a little yachting myself. What brand of yacht do you have? of Los Angeles a few hours ago. The ship was spotted around midnight by fishermen who contacted the Coast Guard after their attempts to hail the ship for futile. Coast Guard officials are releasing very little information right now, but have identified the vessel as the Elizabeth Dane. No word as of yet as to the whereabouts of the crew, though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that had... contact with the Elizabeth Dane to assist them in their search. We'll have more on this story as it breaks. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. In other news, an apparent third victim of the Southland Slasher has prompted the closing of the Santa Monica Pier, where the body was found earlier tonight. Investigators say the scene closely mirrors those of slangs in Glendale and Long Beach. In both cases, the bodies of the victims were described as ripped, torn, bloody entrails smeared upon the walls, splatter on broken windows, feet in weird places, murder, murder, murder. Actor Ash Rivers is lucky to be alive after his car crashed into the gate at Parasite Studios earlier tonight. Witnesses say that they were shocked when the Negative Zero star emerged unscathed and apparently unfazed by his high-speed accident. Rivers' agent... Souls draped in rotten tatters and father dances in the dark. Hey, hey lady, you, you got some change, lady?
Oh, Moopsy is going to be so upset with me. Uh. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm, what time is it? A nothing. With no, nothing. Dolls. Just uh, waiting for a friend to uh, get off work. He's um, a police officer. Old army buddy. He, uh, he should be bringing... Oh, I completely understand. Here, uh, take a few bucks. Think nothing of it. I wouldn't be surprised if in this neighborhood you were pick. Oh, Moopsy is going to be so upset with me. I'm going to need to bathe when I get home. Uh, hey, hey. Uh, how's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or... Alright, here's what we got today. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Thanks. You, uh, new to Santa Monica? Beats me. Santa Monica is dead. I don't know why anyone comes out here anymore. You call me Trip. I own this shop. Uh, just Trip is fine. It's not a big surprise. We get you faces through here night after night. Beats me. Santa Monica. Rustling um, no, robes not, of the not reaper. Really. Sorry. Thanks. You, uh, new to Santa Monica? It's not a big surprise. All right, here's what we got today. Hey, honey. Need some company? Every second takes us closer to the time of judgment! Time of judgment gets closer every second! Hey, go to the camp, get it over here!
What's the hops, bro? It's a nice <laughs> night out, huh? Lovely evening. Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh. Mercurio, if that's what you mean. Oh, shit, you're a Malkavian, aren't you? Damn, that's the last thing I need. I'm bleeding all over the carpet. I can't even understand what the hell you're saying. I got... I went... What is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh. I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organization seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junky pricks. Hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. You gotta... You can't tell anybody. Nobody can know I blew it. Promise me. If they find out I'm a... Those small-time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. You gotta... You gotta get it back from them. Maybe reason with them. Maybe break in. I don't know. I wanna kill them. Do whatever you... There's no need to be such a freaking prick. I blew it. Believe me, I know. In more ways than you can imagine. But you gotta listen to me. Anyone... Rat fucking bastard, you wanna see me squirm? Well, fuck you! 
Sooner this deal is... Ah! Uh, I could get off this couch! Oh! Uh.